Hey, I'm Mary Rambin. On today's Burn 100 series, we're gonna use hand weights in our two circuits to burn 100 calories in 10 minutes. Sound good? Let's just go, right? So our first move is pretty basic. We're just gonna move our arms up and down as we toe tap, right? Just to get the body warmed up because you really, it's important that you warm up your muscles before you try to use them because that's how we get injured, right? When we just try to pop into one move. So all we're doing right here is just getting the blood flowing, kind of committing to ourselves that this is what we're gonna do. Okay, 10 minutes, start our day, right? And start watching the station whatever it is, our guilty pleasure in the morning, right? So just keep it going, keep it going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Ooh, what if I hold it for? 3, 2, 1. All right, now we're going to bring our legs out nice and wide and then just squat down, curl up. Squat down and curl up. So pressing through our heels. Now we're focusing that heat on our quads and on our glutes. Now one thing I have a tendency to do when I'm doing that movement is that I bring my chest down low. Really what I need to do is keep my chest up nice and high, rolling my shoulders back. And as you go down, I know the weights are light, but you need to focus on that squeeze. So let's get in a couple more in right here. Three, two, one. So we're gonna go right into our lunge series, okay? which is just a lunge out in front. It's nice and static. I want you to get as low as you can in that leg and then raise your arms up. Focus on the pull down, okay? Your arms know how to raise, but I need you to focus on the pull. This way we're gonna work our lats and our rhomboids and maybe even some rear delt, right? And also the top of our shoulders. So rounding it out. Now you can go faster, right? Faster is gonna get your heart rate up or you can go slower. Whatever feels right to you just to start off. Remember, you've got to warm up the muscle groups first. We're going to get a couple more in here before we switch. Right? You don't even have to stop moving your arms. Now the weights are small, right? But look how many reps we're doing. This is so good for toning. Right? Getting into that back, squeezing, and then don't forget lower down. Don't be afraid to let your quad burn. That's the best part. That's the best part because it looks the best in your jeans. If we're being honest. Okay, we're going to get in just a few more. Maybe you sink in just a little bit lower right there. Okay, moving on. So now I'm going to get my towel. Now if you're on carpet, you don't need an, a towel. You're just going to put both your knees down, weights in one hand. You're going to start up and then chop down. Just chop into it. Now what we're doing here is we're working our whole arm, our triceps, our shoulders, and then focusing on this oblique right here, really squeezing into it, right? So you extend and release and you chop down. The faster you go and the harder you chop, the stronger you'll get. So then I switch sides halfway through, right? Gotta even you out got to be balanced. So come down with some force. I mean, maybe you think about something that, you're, that you've got down there and you're just bringing it down, chopping it in half, destroying it, getting rid of it. I get angry with it sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Right? If you can't get your aggression out here, where can you do it? Okay, last one. We're gonna lay down for what I call a tabletop crunch. Okay, so you're down in your back. I'm gonna put both weights or one weight, your choice, on your legs. 90 degrees, extend your arms, crunch up, okay? Now, you wanna think about pushing your lower back into the floor. And then you exhale as you come up. You can hold it, squeeze, or go faster. Your choice. Just bring all that attention, all that heat, to your core. Three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just take a rest, towel off, get a little sip of water. Don't drink too much because it's gonna slow down your momentum. And then right away, just take about five seconds. All right, then we're gonna hop right back into it. Our first movement, 
toe taps. Now, here, I want you to see if you can intensify. Get it going a little bit faster. You can always slow down, but the point of this is to push yourself, right? It's about getting winded. It's about sweating. If you, didn't, if you weren't doing that, why would you be doing this at all? Right, so keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Maybe you lift your knees higher, whatever it takes. Then we're moving right into our sumo squat, right? Toes out, lift and curl. Here you can also pick up your speed or drop it even lower, right? Pulling in that heat a little bit more purpose with the curl. You can even move your elbows out if you wanna intensify the curl with the little weight, you know? Everything pulling and pushing. Lowering, keeping that core nice and tight. I always forget about my abs. We're gonna get in three, two, one. Right back to our lunge series, right? So we're getting a lot of static, isometric movements for our legs while we keep our arms going, right? Kind of something new. That's the point of these exercises. We don't want you to do the same things you would do on your own. We gotta change it up to make it fun, right? You're like, I'm sweating and panting, this isn't fun. I know, my idea of fun might be different than yours. And I'm gonna go a little bit faster as I switch my legs. Switching it up. I can really feel my lats because I'm focusing on the pole. And I'm thinking about the fact that the skin on my back is not gonna hang over my sports bra. It's a goal, you gotta have them, <laughs> okay? And then we're gonna go straight into the chopper. Here's my towel, weights up and chop down. Remember, with force, with purpose, so you're firing up that core, cinching in that oblique, and then really reaching up with your arms. Now if you need a break, just take it here. Just take it nice and slow, but keep your body moving and then get back into it, right? The point is to keep moving. That's how you burn calories, by keeping your heart rate up. So now if I focus and I close my eyes, think about something, then I hit harder. I know it sounds cheesy, but try it, it actually works. Eyes closed, focus, switch and hit, switch, hit. I know you're thinking like, the chick is wearing pink, how can she be so aggressive? Everybody's different. Everybody's got their own stuff to work out. This is how I do it. We're gonna have three, two, one. Okay, switching, last movement, all about the core. It is our fuel source for these exercises. If you don't have a strong core, your form is gonna be compromised. So I really, in all of my exercises, will tell you how to focus on your core. So remember, you're pushing your back into the ground, breathing. Give yourself a strong exhale to finish out. I got three, I got two, one. You're done. Instead of just falling over, jump up. Embrace the energy that you just created. Other people are sitting at Starbucks, drinking their calories, consuming them. You just burned them. Feel satisfied and gratified and take that. Share it with everybody you know. If you're online, maybe you use the hashtag burn100. Maybe you tweet me at Mary Ramden. Either way, I think you started the day off right. Have a good one. I'll see you back here on the Self Channel. Bye.